What's up guys? We got a 2000 Honda Civic today. And uh, I'm gonna learn you something today. But before that, if this video helps you out, make sure you drop a sub and a like. Really appreciate it. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments. All right, so we've got a bunch of codes. I wrote down the main ones here. Oh, we got uh, P1753, P1768, and a P1298. You're talking about the electric load detector right there. It's a replaceable part. That's that brown box. We're talking about the torque converter lockup solenoids right here. And uh, we got a vehicle speed sensor down there. The, uh, the speed's just flickering all over the place. Sometimes it stops, sometimes it goes, who knows. D4 light is flashing. And before you get into any of this, if you've got all those codes or some of those codes, first thing you want to do, very first thing, is go to your inside fuse box right here. There's a little cover. Right here, fuse number 15. Alternator SP sensor. Check if it's blown. This one, it was blown, causing all these codes and problems. So before you start getting into all that, check that fuse. So if that fuse isn't blown, there's a few other things you could do. I had a corroded wiring harness on that speed sensor down there, which was not the problem, but I did check that out, cleaned it up. It's right down there, that harness. Wish my camera would focus, there it is. There's that harness, one 12 millimeter bolt. There was some water in there, so I cleaned that out. That was weird. So anyways, these solenoids, three 10 millimeter bolts, you can pop those suckers right off. And that wiring harness, make sure there's nothing in there. And you can clean those up. There's two little screens in there. If it looks really clean, usually you can put the gasket right back on. You could reuse the gasket typically. Uh, you might have to put some black RTV on it if the gasket looks horrible. So this one, you wanna know if your solenoids are working. Take that off, clean it up, look for crud. The, all this is is a power wire, each one of these to these solenoids. You wanna verify that they're working. If you take it off, there'll be two little holes on each side. Basically, that solenoid just opens up when power is fed to it. So you could take anything really. I use my battery charger on low setting and took an alligator clip clipped it to the uh, wiring harness for the green wire and then the other side of the alligator clip is just wire and i clipped it uh, to the power side of my battery charger and there we go we're feeding it power but it needs a ground as well so you take your, you take your ground wire and clip it right to the aluminum and that completes the circuit. And you'll hear a little click and that solenoid will uh, open up. And you can shoot compressed air or some carb cleaner through it to make sure that solenoid's open. That means that solenoid's working. So you tested the green wire. Now test the yellow wire. Make sure that solenoid opens up and you can spray compressed air or carb cleaner through it. And sometimes when these go bad, I know they're like 100, 200, 250 bucks, depending on where you go. Sometimes you could just clean them out and they work again, if that's your problem. But you wanna verify that they're working, that's just an easy 10 minute clean. You clean and test them at the same time. It took me 10 minutes. Cleaned out the uh, vehicle speed sensor, the wiring harness, you know, check that. Check the electric load detector, those, dealership parts you can get them on ebay used or something i think if it's 2001 and newer they're easier to find but do i think it's like 97 to 2000 they're a little harder to find you got to go right to the dealer or order an online dealership but these are all the things to test with these codes 
with your speedometer going crazy and your D4 light kicking off. This one, it was just the fuse. First thing to check, save yourself time. There you are.